official that I like mountain biking more than snowboarding. Good morning, Jesse here with Adventure Endeavor. Today we are at Ski Hill Road, which is near Bayfield, Wisconsin. And we're gonna be doing a little bit of mountain biking. We're at Mount Ash Bay Cluster Mountain Trail, the mountain bike trail system. And this local club has been uh, maintaining and creating trails since 1992. It looks pretty sweet. We're gonna roughly do like a seven mile ride yeah, there's 90 miles of trails in this kind of local area. Take a look. We are here. So we'll probably go up here, come around one of these. I don't know. This one looked pretty cool, but we'll see what we feel like. Let's do this. Yeah, let's go. I just want to show you guys what the start of the trail looks like. It looks excellent. So. We're gonna get to come down this nice little rhythm section. Hey babe, you know what you you know what you just told me? That I decided it's official that I like mountain biking more than snowboarding. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think about that? Let us know in the comments. Well, your, your thoughts. Well, so here's the thing: mountain biking you can do year-round, anywhere. It's cheaper once you have all the equipment. It's there's less equipment, generally speaking, that you have to lug around and deal with, and it's. Super fun. Super, super fun. And you get that same flowy feeling like you do snowboarding or skiing. So, yeah, it's my new favorite active sport. That makes Jesse happy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bud. Yo! Careful, dear. Oh man, we are exhausted. So, so tired. You don't even, you don't even know. So fun. How exhausted we are right now. That trail was awesome. It was uh, super, super technical. Lots of rocks, lots of roots, lots of like up and down. It was just. Melissa crashed once. I did crash once. I think we did like 13 miles or something like that. Which is the longest we've done, yeah, 13 miles, which is the longest that we've done in quite a while. Yeah. Maybe ever for me. I'm tired. Let's go get something to eat. Okay, let's go. 12 seconds later. We got some obligatory snacks from the gas station. So if you're not from the Midwest, you might wonder what the heck are cheese curds? You're saying it wrong. What? Cheese turds. Cheese turds. How they say it around here in the Midwest. Cheese turds. Cheese turds. Okay. Cheese turds. Well, anyway, this lovely packaging from Ellsworth Farms um, tells you that cheese curds are squeaky fresh cheddar cheese in its natural random shape before being made into blocks of cheddar. Legend has it that cheese curds became popular when Wisconsin cheesemakers would take handfuls of these delicious and nutritious morsels home to their children. Of course, the rest is history. Mm. Cheese turds. In case you were wondering. We're gonna go into uh, Wonder State Coffee here in Bayfield. The uh, 
consensus is that Wonder State Coffee was bomb. <sighs> yeah. Such a door. So Badefield is pretty neat. It's very small, but there's a lot of cool shops. Just a few streets to walk around. Kind of reminds us of Bar Harbor in Maine. Very similar, I would say, but different in its own sense. What is up, everyone? Oh, hello. After a super long day, we're back at camp, which is, is very... Camp? It's a very tight spot. Super tight squeeze. Um, but that's but it's okay. been great. And now we're doing a pizza night. This is something that we've done for a long time, but everybody loves pizza. So we uh, normally we do our pizza in our Green Mountain Grill. We have a pizza oven attachment, which is freaking sweet. But Mike and Russ and the Cates, they both have pizza ovens. For their camp chefs. For their camp chefs. We'll show you guys that but it's just a really fun thing. And this is, you know, cooking in your RV mm -hmm. and this is how we cook all the time. This, I don't know, this. I say this all the time, but you don't, yeah, you don't need to eat peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> Pizza was something that we started doing a lot when all of the shutdowns started happening and we were at home all the time. So it's yes. definitely a quarantine skill that we learned and uh, we just really enjoy it. It's gonna be it's a fun. excellent, pizza night it's a fun activity to do with their friends so and now let's roll that pizza b-roll I did a garlic artichoke, bacon, peppers on that one. Garlic alfredo sauce. Good. What's going on here, babe? Uh, I am attempting a pizza with a ranch base for the sauce with some blue cheese and bacon. It's a little crazy. We'll see what happens. So the pizza is turning out incredible. I got a few clips of the pizza ovens that we're using today. Like I said, we have one for our Green Mountain Grill pizza oven. Both the guys, or both the other couples have dual. So we could do two, three pizzas at once. So we got two of them going. We're making a ton of pizzas. So we'll link that too. We don't personally own that. I want you guys to know that we don't own those, but they're really nice. And then you could do flat top griddles and all that kind of stuff. Pizza. pizza! Pizza! How is it? This one is apparently more blue cheesy than the first slice. Oh. One bite, everybody knows the rules. Rating? That's... It's good. What's your rating? There's a little bit too much blue cheese. What's your rating? I'm gonna give it a 7.3. Oh, you learned! Good job. That's that's a pretty high rating, by the way. Method. 